COVID tests falsified at a local nursing home. Tonight, sons and daughters of parents who died from COVID are speaking out to the News 5 investigators. I can't even put together a basket of, of all of the feelings, you know, anger, frustration, anxiety. Real News 5 investigator Jonathan Walsh with us in studio today. Jonathan, you had a chance to sit down with those families. I did, Rob, and it's really tough to hear what they've gone through. You know, there are multiple lawsuits filed against now Montefiore Nursing Home in Beechwood following an examination by state and federal investigators last year. The people we have talked to have strong reactions to the nursing home's position on what has happened so far. Carol Kenny had dementia and had been in Montefiore Nursing Home of Menorah Park in Beechwood for about a year and a half. Her daughter Erica remembers going to visit Carol one day late last year. And she was almost non-responsive and she wasn't very talkative. Erica says her 73-year-old mom did not look well. She was slumped over in her wheelchair. And my mother's usually the one that won't sit in the wheelchair. Erica tells us she demanded they take Carol to the hospital. And they found out she had COVID. I was shocked. I thought she was in good hands. My mother had um, woken up completely disoriented. Robin Finkenthal Kolbar says her 81-year-old mother Marlene was at Montefiore during the same time. Marlene contracted COVID and Robin was very concerned. They were pre existing medical conditions that put her at high risk for not doing well with COVID. It's at first sort of uh, shocking. Rob Singer says his 81 year old mother Gloria was living at Montefiore and came down with COVID too. You want to uh, be there to try to comfort them and to spend time. You don't know how it's going to turn out. The children tell us Carol, Marlene and Gloria eventually died from COVID. How do you feel today looking back on all of this? I think they robbed me of my mother. In fact, they all feel that way. According to state documents, an investigation by the Ohio Department of Health and the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, or CMS, found Montefiore failed to ensure accurate COVID-19 testing was done for 35 residents. The investigation led to the termination of Montefiore's administrator, director of nursing, and assistant director of nursing after the state concluded they failed to collect samples from the affected residents and submitted false samples to the laboratory. Documents show shortly after, 22 residents, many of whom displayed symptoms, tested positive. It further states the falsifications placed all 183 residents at Montefiore at risk for the likelihood of harm, complications, and or death. We asked for an on-camera interview with Montefiore. We were denied. A spokesperson released a statement about the testing controversy saying in part it was an isolated and unfortunate incident. That just re-traumatizes me because I don't consider that this whole thing an unfortunate incident. These aren't cases over stubbed toes. These are deaths, preventable deaths. The Montefiore statement also reads in part that its response was quick, straightforward, and honest. They're saying what, the, what they need to say now, but what did they do when they had the opportunity to prevent this? In 2020, Ohio passed a state law saying nursing homes cannot be sued because of COVID deaths. But Robin's attorney tells us that law doesn't apply to what he called reckless negligence and willful disregard for safety. Montefiore's statement says it cannot comment on specifics of cases currently in active litigation. Court records filed by Montefiore lawyers deny wrongdoing and state the nursing home had no reason to anticipate the actions of the employees. But the plaintiff's attorneys don't believe this is just a case of rogue nurses falsifying results. There's no doubt in my mind the reason at the end of the day will be profits over people. We got to put a stop to that. Can you specifically tie the falsification of records directly to Mr. Singer's mother's death? Yes. We have an infectious disease expert. The accused nurses have sued Montefiore for wrongful dismissal, and the nursing home has countersued. Families are trying to find answers, and what they'd like is accountability. And what we see is gamesmanship going on with our legal system. The home was fined by CMS nearly $317,000. However, News 5 investigators have uncovered Montefiore claimed financial hardship. And they got the fine reduced to 
thousand dollars. I wasn't aware of that. That's uh, that's disappointing. What's the value of life? Exactly. What's the value of life? Is it eighty thousand dollars? Now where I come from. It's ridiculous. It's outrageous. It's inexcusable. The children of Carol, Marlene, and Gloria say what happened cost them all so much. She was uh, uh, an energetic and uh, loving person. I lost the opportunity to hold my mom's hand to what I call singing her home. Everything that I am today, the standards I have, the, the, the drive that I have is because of my mother. A Cuyahoga County court filing states the Ohio Attorney General's office is conducting a criminal investigation into what happened at Montefiore. There are several more lawsuits against Montefiore, aside from the families that we talked to for this report tonight. And of course, we have the full Montefiore statement on our News 5 app. So much pain for those families, so much Definitely. work for you and your team. So what are the next steps? Well, as you saw, the courts are messy and there are a lot of hearings, a lot of things still to go through. And of course, we're gonna stay on top of it every step of the way. We trust you will. Thank you, Jonathan. You bet.